bad karma like this is about, like, um, you know, guys on strike and, you know, early 20th century who don't have money and, like, um, fighting for money, like, let's do it down and dirty, you know, and, and um, there's no reason, you know, in some, like, some of these comedies that we do, like, you know, the ones I do with Seth, they're smart, like, they learned their lesson, they did the Green Hornet, and they spent, you know, a hundred million or something dollars, and because of that, the studio had a firmer hand, and, um, and so they had to make it PG-13, and so basically, you know, Seth lost his special power of <laughs> swear words and dirty jokes, <laughs> and, um, and so he couldn't do what he wanted to do, so now they're very smart, they're like, all right, we'll make our, comedies at a certain budget, it's big enough to make the movies feel, you know, not like, you know, tiny, tiny films, but it's not so big that the studio's going to come in and, you know, start telling them what to do. They get the freedom to make the movies that they would, how they, you know, they want to make them. And um, so to me, I just always look at that, like, is it is it needed? And if not, like, uh, I might not do it if it's too, too big and it doesn't feel justified. Um, so it's bad. It's just bad karma. Like you can look at it, you're like, oh, they spent that on that movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we want to get into acting a little bit. So um, this question is from Phil Ogniho. Um As an actor and director, do you prefer in-person auditions or tape auditions? As an actor. Yeah. <laughs> But, well, yeah. I, I don't really audition anymore. Sure, no, no, no. But, I mean, I mean, no. but being an actor, as as you cast, like, oh, do you prefer, like, does oh, that see. change how you cast, and is that an implication? I mean, auditions are, um, like, I've been through a lot, Thanks, so I mean, I've paid my dues, at, you know, audition wise, but um, um, they're, you know, any actor knows they suck, um, and, um, but it's just sort of. Um, in some ways, it's just sort of a necessary evil, you know. The director wants to, you know, feel people out, and if a direct, you know, I, I, I do like using um, people that I know already, you know. And, and if you just look at the cast of my thing, like I've worked with a lot of these people before, or um, the big, you know, big actors like um, Duvall or Vincent D'Onofrio um, are all people that I've worked with before. And then people from I, I'm Broadway with, or you know, people um, that's one of my former students, um, people that have done other movies with me. You know, the, most of the people in the in the cast actually I've worked with before. So, um, and I, as a director, I just love that because, um, you know, I mean, obviously for a lot of reasons that you know that you can guess, like you know each other. Um, you know, and it's not even like um, yes, there's a sh kind of a shorthand, but it, but what that means is that there's a shorthand because you know every director is different, every movie is different, and if you know as an actor, if you know a director and a director, you know an actor, it's sort of like oh, I know your style, I know what you like, I know what you're going for, and you can um, kind of get that, and it's also kind of a trust thing, you know, as an actor. On a, in the film world, um, less so in the theater world, but in the film world, you know, you are sort of beholden, you know, the, to a lot of other people. You go and you act, you, and then you turn over your work, and then they edit it together and they put it together. So, as an actor, that does on every at every stage of the game, you know, it, it involves trust. You just say like, well, I'm going to give this to you, and. I'm trusting that you're going to make it as good as possible. Um, and so, I, you know, I like actors who trust me, who trust me, I'm going to just, you know, let it fly and not be kind of defensive actors, like, uh, I'm not going to quite do what he says because I'm worried it won't be good. Like, if they trust me, they'll just, they'll just try whatever and they'll know, like, if it didn't work, I'm not going to put the bad stuff in. They trust my sensibility and all that. So that's one of the reasons, another reason I like working with people I know. Um, as far as the auditions, you know, you know, it's, 
of course I like to meet people in person, but you know, sometimes you're putting together a movie, it's it's hard to meet, you know, a lot of people, you know, and that you don't know. So sometimes you have to depend on tape and um I've been doing it long enough. I've watched, you know, enough movies and all this stuff. Like I have you know, I can get a pretty good sense of somebody on on video, but sometimes it's not always good either because sometimes my producers give me some people on video and then they show up. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs>